Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to talk about Wendy Williams. Now, last week I did a live stream about Wendy Williams where we talked about where she may be concerning her mental health. I know a lot of people are um, talking about her recently. She Her show got canceled after several, several years on air. And there's been allegations of, you know, if she's relapsed, there's been talks of it being um, a mental health situation. Now, last week when we did our live stream, we um, watched a video where Wendy Williams was coming out of her New York apartment. And it looked like she may have contacted TMZ to come because TMZ was there, um, the son was there, and she walks out to, to her car, um, like uh, her ride, and nobody else is there. Like, uh, management's not there. Nobody's there, right? So she walks out, and of course, the photographers are asking her questions. And she's just smiling, but she still has this look of confusion a little bit on her face. And they ask her what she's doing. You know, like, what are you doing today? And she says, I'm going to go shopping, but my, my American Express card is broken, so i got to get that fixed. And when she gets to the car, she says something along the lines of, where are we flying to? And then she says, um, I'm not flying today or something. I, she brings up flying. And then she tells the paparazzi, when they comment about how good she looks, she says, I know, I look like I'm 35, right? You would never guess that I'm in my 50s. So after that, though, she just turns around and starts walking off. And they're in the middle of, like, asking her questions. They're asking her questions, and she just turns around and walks off. And even her walk seems like, I don't know, like she's scared she's going to lose her balance. The way that she walks is strange. Um, when she gets back in her building, she just sits there looking confused. There was this one point where she was sitting there, like, where I really felt bad for her. I really felt like she was seriously confused. Like, I wondered, does she know what's going on? Like, does she sit down and then forget, like, Wait, what am I doing again? What's going on? Because that would have to be scary, right? So, after a few minutes, she walks back out, but her management is there. Will, a guy named Will is there. And when she walks out and he sees her, he's like, what's going on? What are you doing? Like, what's going on? What is this? What is this? Asking about the paparazzi. And she says, it's TMZ. Like, she knew. She's like, it's TMZ. And he's like, go inside. Go back inside. And he, there was frustration in his voice when he was telling her to go back inside. And um, after he got her inside, he spoke to the paparazzi for a little bit, and he just said, like, look, I don't know what she told you guys. Um, clearly, he was even concerned with her talking to the photographers, if it was going to make her sound okay, if, if she was going to say something that would cause an uproar, you know. But her just coming out the way that she did, it definitely seemed like she contacted them to be there, paparazzi to be there, and then maybe she thought, it would be a good look for her to come out and talk to them for a little bit and then go back in. Her, like the fact that she probably doesn't even understand herself how she um, looks. Um, but either way, something else happened. And I, like I said, I told you guys I was going to stay on top of this. So this article came out and I wanted to go over it with you guys. And I don't know, because I feel like when a celebrity is really going downhill and they're struggling, paparazzi really jumps on it and they make anything everything you know any little thing that happens they turn it into everything and with this situation i'm i'm kind of borderline on how i feel about it so this um article was put out by the sun and it says wendy williams sparks concern as she walks around in a robe barefoot with dirty feet after seeming disoriented in a video now the video that they're referring to is the video that we saw her outside of her apartment building that day um I'm going to show you guys these pictures, but I am cons I'm confused in regards to some of it. I think this is paparazzi maybe being a little too much. Okay, so here's one of the photos, and as you guys can see, like, she is clearly in her apartment building or where she lives. Someone is in, like, the lobby, obviously, and they see Wendy. She's in a bathrobe. She's barefoot. Um, th th that doesn't concern me really. Cause I'm like, I've literally stayed in hotels before where, I mean, I don't think I've ever ran down to the hotel, like in barefooted, 
But I'm sure she's staying in a pretty fancy hotel that has clean carpet, you know. So, I mean, this is where she lives. This is where, where her apartment is. So, this is, like, home to her. The, the road does not make, even the barefoot, like, not too big of a deal. Because, like I said, fancy apartment. I'm sure it's clean. Um, but at certain times, she does seem confused in the photos. Like, her looking, the mouth open. She looks, um... The look on her face is what's concerning to me. Not necessarily that she's barefooted and she's in a rope. This is her house. Like, her house is upstairs. You know what I'm saying? Um, so, that... And they, they make a claim that she's got dirty feet. Now, you guys look at her feet in this picture. Okay, let me... You guys see down there at the bottom of her feet? Mind you, um, she has this condition where her legs and her feet swell really bad. But look at this. Her feet's not dirty. So now I feel like they're just kind of making things a little bit worse than they already are. Like, Wendy Williams is like the queen of radio, the queen of shade. She's she's she, she's a legacy. But she's not anymore what she once was. Possibly, I'm sure it is due to mental health. I'm sure it is due to, you know, all the years of drug use. But... Her feet ain't dirty. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, let's call it for what it is. Or let's talk about what is really happening. But why? I don't understand that. Like, obviously, the bottom of her feet are very light skin, except kind of right in the middle. Which, that, to, am I am I tripping here? That looks like a shadow to me. Or it may be even, let me look at my foot. Yeah, my foot right there is a little bit darker than, like, all the rest of the outside. Actually, mine's kind of pink right there. Um... But does her feet look dirty? Because like, I'm, I feel like they're focusing on too much and they're kind of pointing out things that may not be exactly that. Like the bathrobe, like, oh, she aimlessly walks around in a bathrobe and with dirty feet barefoot. My only concern is the way that she looked. She looked shocked and confused. Um, and it does have me wondering. Like, is someone there taking care of her? Does she have someone who is with her? Because her manager has said, and other people have come out to say, that Wendy Williams can be in the middle of talking to someone that she's known for years, and she'll stop and say, what's your name again? And at first, people thought she was joking. At first, people would kind of laugh it off and think that she was joking. But then they come to realize that she's not joking. But also, when you walk around where people walk with shoes, your feet will get there. That is true. That is true. Yeah. Her feet didn't really look dirty to me, but, I mean, she is walking around barefooted. So, if, if they potentially did get a little bit dirty, they didn't look abnormally dirty to me. Like, she hadn't bathed or something. You guys know. I don't know why, you guys. This is, like, something I do, and maybe it's weird. When I see people with flip-flops on or sandals, I look at their feet to see if their toenails are dirty and stuff. And... When I see someone with, like, dirty toenails, for some reason, I always think, oh, they haven't taken, taken a bath in a few days. <laughs> but, like, I don't get that from Wendy. Like, even though Wendy, whatever she's dealing with, like, her feet did not seem, like, if I would have saw that foot at a football game wearing a sandal, just from as far as we could see it, I wouldn't have thought that's a dirty foot. I watch the show every day, and she would get stories mixed up a lot. Was that at the end, May, like the last year or so, like the last two years? Because I watched it a lot as well. And, man, I, I remember, like, years ago, she was just like, I wish I could play some of her shows on here. Because, like, I feel like there was this transition with Wendy. There was this sparkle in her eye. She was, like, quick-witted, you know. And then... At one, on one point, it changed, and she was just dim. Like, that sparkle was gone. She was just dim, you know? Um, and it wasn't her anymore. And I don't know if, like, you know, she's been open about the fact that she drug use. So, I don't know if, like, so many years of drug use took its toll on her, had taken its toll on her, or if it was mental health, or a combination of both. Uh, but I definitely feel like there was a time where Wendy Williams lost what she had. Um, but either way, yeah, it definitely looks like something's, that doesn't look like her him at all. Um, 
you know, the the eye bulging, that's Graves' disease, uh, which is, she has Graves' disease, and that's what causes her eyes to bulge. Everything changed after everything came out about her husband. That may be when it was. It may, it may have been, you know, when the situation came out about her husband. The last season or so, six months to a year, I feel like her husband leaving triggered it and made it worse. I know she has lipedema and lipedema as a... Yes, that's what caused her legs and her feet to really explode. Every time I see her, though, there there's these looks of confusion on her face. And that's what worries me. And like I said, sources say that she will be talking to them and she'll forget who she's talking to. She'll forget what they were saying. She'll be on the phone with somebody and she'll stop mid-sentence and say, who am I talking to? Um, because something's not well with her. And I hope whoever's with her, her manager, Will, I hope he's really got her best interest at heart. I don't know if he does. Um, but yeah, I wonder, maybe this photo of her looking shocked and confused was because somebody was standing there taking a picture of her. You know, I mean, even... You know, if you're in the lobby and you have your phone and you're like this, she, you know, somebody might would understand that you're taking a picture. Um, I watch her every day and know she did not get stories mixed up, nor did she show any signs of dementia. But yes, yeah, she did go downhill since her husband did his BS and her legs look great in these pics. Um, she looks a little confused. Yeah. Like the bathrobe. You know, that's fine to me because why not? She lives upstairs. Barefoot. Why not? Um, it's the look that I see on her face. Now, here's the photos. Let me... From the day that we were talking about earlier where there's actually videos of this. And I did a video of this as well where we watched the video. She comes out by herself. And I really think she did this. I really think she called... Um, I really feel like she, like, called TMZ, asked them to be there, thinking, I'll walk out. I'll say a little something-something to them because I'm getting this this bad press where people think that I um, don't know what's happening, you know, and that I'm back on drugs. So, let me call TMZ. I'll walk out, talk to them, talk to them a little bit. I'll make sure I'm looking good. You know, she's got a black shirt on. She's got a short on, little short shorts. And, you know, um... That's one thing that she said when she got out there. She said, I look good, don't I? Or maybe they said, you're looking good nowadays, Wendy, or something along. Yeah, they said, you're looking good, Wendy. She says, I know I look like I'm 30-something, right? And she was like, you would never guess that I'm in my 50s. So I really think she called them, but it backfired. Because at one when she walked out, it was okay. But the first few minutes of her talking, it seemed somewhat okay. But in the middle of them asking her questions, she just went and just turned around and just walked off this very weird walk um, and went and sat down. And sitting there, she looked so confused. You know, um, that's when my heart really broke for her. Uh, coming out, her, her manager was clearly bothered that she did this. So, um... A lot of things. Also, there was a video um, where she was in a Louis Vuitton store. And she just laid down in the middle of the store on like a chair or something. She laid down on this chair and with a glass of champagne sitting beside her and she fell asleep. And Wendy has battled with alcohol and drug addiction. So, that was something else that caused for concern. Um, I want to get this other article up in just a second because there's also some information that's come out that staffers that worked on the Wendy Williams show have come forward to say that they found a lot of alcohol hidden, like in her office, but in weird places like ceiling tile. Like if you remove, remove the tile from the ceiling, there'll be like alcohol stored up there. Um, but yeah, anyways, these photos, while she does appear confused it could be because someone is in her building taking photos of her um everything that's happening 
I think it just kind of piles and piles on and makes it worse. So she admitted to struggling with alcohol and drug addiction. In 2019, she entered into a halfway house in an attempt to get sober. Um, on these photos that I just showed you guys, they've been posted everywhere, obviously. One person wrote, oh, Lord, what is going on with Miss Wendy? Someone else said, I hope Wendy is okay. Um, someone else said, Wendy's looking good these days. And someone else said, no, she doesn't look good. She looks strung out. Now, Wendy's manager, Will, he says that he really isn't worried about Wendy, which is kind of concerning to me. Like, it's clear that something is amiss with Wendy. Like, you you can't tell me nothing. Like, if you're going to tell me anything, it's that something is amiss with Wendy. So, for him to be like, oh, I'm not really worried about her. He says, I'm not saying she's in perfect condition. Is there any concern on my behalf? No. I just feel like Wendy is being Wendy. It's a lot for her to take on right now. Also, Wendy literally told Jason Lee from Hollywood Unlocked that she got married to a cop. And when her manager was asked about it, her manager said, no, she hasn't gotten married. Now, in an interview that he did, um, so he did an interview where he was asked about her TMZ interview. Wendy did a TMZ interview where she said that she was going to start a podcast, that it would be a way to, you know, bring in money because she's famous um that her podcast would be really successful and then she showed her foot on camera and it was the picture of her foot very bloated um and she was very disoriented she didn't make sense in this um in this interview with tmz it was very concerning um but her manager will was questioned about that he said it was a little wild i'm gonna be very transparent i'm not gonna sit here and say that wendy is perfect and that she's an image of ourselves from heaven it was a little shaky. That whole, I'm not going to sit here and say that Wendy is perfect and that she's an image of ourselves from heaven. No, my image of me in heaven is not a picture of Wendy Williams. That makes no sense. I don't understand. Anyways, he said, Wendy is an iconic figure that lived a hard life. So it's hard for her to stay on topic. Okay, so it's hard for her to stay on topic and talk about a blue shirt when her life is so colorful. What? I don't know. I feel like a part of me feels like he's trying to cover for Wendy, make it out like she's not as bad off as she is, whether it be whatever. Um, Kiki, where did he do the interview at? I know that her brother has his own YouTube channel where he talks about um, Wendy, and I did check it out the other day. He says, that is why sometimes Wendy may steer away from the converse conversation, but she'll get back to the topic eventually, maybe tomorrow. That's not normal. You know, that, that, that's definitely not normal um, for someone to steer away from a conversation and maybe get back to it later. So Wendy is battling health issues, legal issues, and more, according to this particular um article which we know that we know she's battling all of those things um she still hasn't gotten access to her money even though a judge ruled that she was to get access to her money she hasn't her manager will has actually um uh, so she gets like an allowance basically she's she does not have direct access to her money what happens is um she's given a monthly allowance essentially and anything else outside of that, her manager, Will, is putting the bill for right now. But what Will is also trying to do is prove that she is mentally sane enough and that she's staying away from the people that are um, just using her. That way she can get full access to her money. But I feel like he's doing everything that he can to prove those things. So when she gets access to her money, he can benefit off of it. He may be racking up somewhat of a bill, but he knows, hey, if Wendy can get a hold of her money, she can reimburse me with interest. And we can possibly make money together, you know? So, um, Wendy Williams staff found alcohol bottles hidden in the ceiling and questioned her sobriety at work at least 25 times. So this is another article that I was reading earlier about Wendy and her apparently hiding her alcohol at work, 
which I'm not really, sh I'm not 100% shocked, to be honest, because when you deal with addicts, you kind of know these things, that they will find places to hide their drugs. Um, I have someone that I was friends with when I was younger, and he did the same thing. His parents had like the, I guess it's like acoustic tile ceilings, and he would um, push one of the tiles up and over. He would stand on his bed, push it up and over, and put his stuff up there. And then, you know, and I don't think his parents ever knew until not that long ago. I was talking to his mom, and I said something about it. She was like, what? I was like, you didn't know that? She was like, no, I never do that. And I was like, my bad. I figured he would have told you by now, because now he's like almost 40. But sources told The Hollywood Reporter about Wendy's state in her final years on the daytime talk show before she went on hiatus and ultimately left the show. Okay, I'll look that one up, Kiki. So, Wendy, who is 58 years old, has been struggling with multiple health issues, including Graves' disease and alcohol and, dr alcohol and drug addiction. So, um, she entered the halfway house in 2019. A, a source that's um, close to someone at the show, or uh, possibly within the show, said everybody on that staff and crew witnessed all kinds of things. The insider alleged that staffs, staffers would find bottles of alcohol up in the ceiling tiles and other weird places in her office. Reporters, re producers reportedly questioned Wendy sobriety on at least 25 separate occasions in text messages sent to their superiors before the show began. Their bosses would um, then allegedly make a quick judgment on whether they could go live at 10 a.m. regardless of Wendy's reported assurance that she was fine. In some cases, the episode was the second taping of the day and wouldn't air until later in the week, giving executives time to re-watch that hour of footage to see if Wendy seemed well enough to air that footage. In all but one case, uh, the bosses alleged, allegedly claimed that Wendy seemed fine enough and the episodes aired as planned. So there was one time where Wendy filmed and they couldn't use it. They couldn't use the episode because she didn't seem okay. The, cancel, the canceled episode was allegedly in the spring of 2021, and a repeat, but a repeat was um, aired in its place instead. Last year... Uh, the Sun exclusively revealed that Wendy was drinking every day, even while filming the show. Um, this was before she was hospitalized in September in the psychiatric uh, ward with psychiatric issues. A source said everybody is an enabler because they don't want to lose their job. They see it, they know it, they smell it, but they don't say anything. Wendy drinks every day, and the only time she was sober was when she was at the sober house. They added, her staffers are worried, but no one is ever going to speak up because they don't want to lose their jobs. She's an alcoholic, a bad one. She doesn't need a talk show. She needs help. This is according to a source. I'm good, Brittany. How are you? In May 2021, she went on hiatus from her show um, due to health issues surrounding her Graves' disease. In March 2022, Wendy claimed on Good Morning America on, on Good Morning America that she would return to her show in three months and that she had the body of a 25-year-old. Okay, girl. However, in June of 2022, it was announced the Wendy Williams show was officially canceled. So, March 2022, she went on Good, Mo Good Morning America. I cannot say Good Morning America. <laughs> so, March... She um, went on Good Morning America and said that she was going back to the show in about three months. Then, April, May, June, three months after that, it was actually canceled. A source close to Wendy um, said that Wendy isn't the same as she used to be, and I agree to this. The spark is gone. The Wendy who for, for 10 years had that spark in her eyes, that cheeky grin, and that little wink is not the same now. She's not always functioning like she used to be. She has days where she needs help eating, getting out of bed, and getting dressed. Um, do you guys remember when she passed out? When It was during a Halloween episode, and she was dressed like the Statue of Liberty, and she passed out. 
And they said that was due to overheating, but really, you know, we really don't know what that was due to. But I could definitely see the cause for concern. And I'm going to continue, you know, following her, following the situation. But you guys, she is a legend. Like, Wendy, we, I did this last time and I'll do it again. I'm going to show you guys pictures from when she was like, Wendy. And she looked great. And then it's like this shift where you could tell that she's just like not really happy. She seemed like something was wrong. Let me see. She may have been high in this one, but she looks like Wendy. I don't know. You know what I'm saying? Like she looks like Wendy in this photo. She looked good. Here, not so well. Here, you here she's not well, you can tell. She looked good here. I definitely feel like there was a time where she just had this spark, and then at, at some point it just went away. Here, she looked sad. Her eyes look sad. I'm gonna make this a little bit bigger so you guys make sure you guys can see it. Yeah. Oh, no, I knew that. I knew that she had Graves' disease. Um, and I knew that's what they said, that she overheated. But do we really know if that's what happened? Um, we don't know, you know. I know that she has thyroid problems. This was uh, back in her radio days when she was... Um, you know, she talked about her addiction to uh, cocaine. It's sad, though, if you watch her show. Like, you know, go back to, like, a few of the first seasons. And you watch her show, and she's just, like, you know, so happy. And, and now to see her really seeming like she's struggling, it's very sad to witness. Very sad to witness. Yeah, that's all we can do is just pray for her. Oh, I was just diagnosed with Grace's disease yesterday. Sending you prayers. Sending you prayers. I do feel like they're taking a lot into this, though. Um, like I said, you know, they're putting out articles about um, her walking around with dirty feet. I'm like, her feet ain't dirty. Like, call it for what it is. Say that she looks confused. Say that, you know, maybe she looks like she's not well. But you ain't got to add to it, you know? I mean, oh, look at her there. She's dealt with a lot, you know? Here, I'll help you. Hold on. I can help you real quick. Bam. There you go. <laughs> oh, wait. That may have been the wrong one. Nope, that was you. Okay. Um, here, this is what I do, you guys. Let me explain it. I cover entertainment news and realities. Wendy has been in the news a lot, but fortunately, I am one of those people that I, um, I'm not a negative person. I'm really positive. And even when I cover people that is suffering from mental health situations or drug addiction, I am sympathetic to them and I pray for them and I don't cover them in a mean way. But what I'm not going to do is have someone come in here and like make act like I'm doing something wrong for doing what I do. I cover reality, celebrity, TV news and gossip. You know what I'm saying? Like, but I do it, I try to do it in a way that's respectful to the people that I cover. Um let TMZ catch her looking looking confused and they're gonna make a mockery out of it. They're just like the sun, you know, the articles that I was reading with the sun, they were definitely 
adding to it to make it more than what it was. And that's literally what I was saying. Like, she seems confused. She seems like she's struggling. Let's not make it more than what it is. Let's not pick on her about her dirty feet when it didn't even look like she had dirty feet. You know what I'm saying? I'm being respectful. I'm being delicate. But she is a celebrity and people's going to cover this. Thing is, is when she passes away, am I going to jump on here crying and say, I I loved Wendy. I'm not going to jump on here crying. I'm going to get on here and be like, it's a sad day because she was a legend. And I actually, I watched Wendy for many, many years. Um, just like when Anne Hayes died. Did I jump in here to say, oh, I love Anne Hayes? No, I'm not, no, I didn't. Because I don't know her that way. Did I love watching Wendy Williams? Absolutely. I love watching Wendy Williams. And that's how I know there's a difference. Because I've seen it. I, I saw it myself when she seen there was this sparkle in her in her eye there was like life in her to where it wasn't because I actually watched her how you doing yes um so if you come in here trying to be rude I'm just gonna boot you I'm sorry because I actually do this in the most respectful way possible um my feet are feeling discolored from Graves disease and half without and that's another thing Paula mama bear um Graves disease probably can affect the color of your feet and something like that I'm definitely sorry that you're going through that. I never suffered depression or losing my heart rate because I was crazy. Um, but yeah, you guys. So it looks like though, you know, in the pictures that we looked at, like someone had gotten into her apartment building and was taking pictures. Thank you, Madison. And was taking pictures. And did she look confused and stunned and maybe even in a way to where I felt bad? Yes. Um, but it definitely could be that she was stunned because she saw someone in her building taking pictures of her. Um, you know, I didn't really see anything wrong with her in a bathrobe or anything wrong with her barefooted. Her feet did not look dirty to me. Thank you, baby. Um, but I definitely think there's a reason to be concerned for Whitney. Uh, Whitney. Um, for, uh, uh, now my husband walked in and I completely forgot um, Wendy, I completely forgot what I was doing. I definitely think we have reason to be concerned for Wendy Williams. I hope whoever is there with her, her manager will. I hope he's got her best intentions in mind. I, I don't know if he does though. You know, I really don't know if he does. Um, but you guys leave me your thoughts and opinions in the conversation below. Hopefully Wendy gets the help that she needs. Um, they can click off if something Something makes you mad. Why do you keep watching? I know. It's really crazy. It's really wild. Um, well, when the person first came in, they were like, let me ask you something. Do you love Wendy? And it's like, I love watching her. I don't know her well enough. Um, you know, I, you know, as much as probably a lot of people in the chat do, you know what I'm saying? Um, I mean, probably one of the shows that I watch the most is Teen Mom. Would I say, uh, love the girls on Team Mom. I really enjoy watching them. Would I cry if something happened to them? I wouldn't cry. Would I feel bad? Yes. Um, no more Vaughn case for me. Well, if something happens, if we get an update or something like that, then yes, absolutely. Um, I started covering the Vaughn case when, you know, I first heard about it. It resonated with me. And, um, yeah, if something happens, I'll definitely, I'll definitely do a video to let you guys know. Deceitful husband will take a toll on you as well. It will drag you down a horrible mental dark hole. Exactly, exactly. She dealt with that for so many years, so many years. Um, that's so wild, Sunkiss Salt, because I was never a part of this fundraising thing. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? No more fundraising with Molly and Justin. Like when I was on Molly and Justin's channel, um, I know that was something that. Molly would say like, hey, donate. But I don't think I ever pushed for anybody to donate. Um, but when I covered them, when I covered Vaughn's situation, I did have people saying, do you have their, um, I think the first live that I did, I didn't have anybody's information down there. And someone said, hey, can you put Letitia's Cash App on your screen? And I said, yeah, sure, why not? And then uh, my mods got it to share it but yeah i was not a part of any type of you know um fundraising anything <laughs> um but i'm so happy hey brenda 
Thank you, Paula. I have this disease and I'm not offended at all. Thank you. Yeah, well, that's something that I think a lot of people take. Like, I see articles of uh, about Wendy and they're like, um, what will they say? Like, um, they'll, they'll talk about her eyes, you know. They'll talk about um, Wendy Williams look, looks confused with bug eyes. And, and I'm like, but you know she's got Graves disease. So why would you say that? Like, we know why her eyes look that way. So, I don't understand some outlets that, you know, but you guys leave me your thoughts in the comment section below. I really enjoyed watching Wendy. She definitely made me laugh a lot. And the thing is, is Wendy could shade, she shaded everybody, but she still let anybody come on her show. Like, the people that she would shade, like, she was big on shading the Kardashians. But guess what? She was friends with them. You know, like, she literally would, like, had them on her show all the, and she would tell them like you know I shade you you know and, like I remember when Todd Chrisley come on she was like you know I'm always asking about when you gonna come out the closet and he's like I know Wendy so like people really didn't take it um like to heart really what she said um I think there was times where she said a little too much uh, for my taste but that was kind of what she was known for for, for you know um, kind of crossing that line at times so. But I'm going to go ahead and close this one out. Like I said, I'm going to be doing a TikTok live tonight around 8 o'clock, 8.30 Central Time. If you guys want to join me, I will put. Uh, I'm going to put my TikTok name in the thing and I will um, pin it really quickly. You guys go follow me over on TikTok. I'm going to do a TikTok live tonight where we're just chatting. I'm answering questions. We can talk about whatever. If you guys want to ask me about the Vaughn case, more than happy to. I know there's a lot of, like, craziness that surrounds it because it's turned into so much craziness at this point. But all I care about is, um, all I care about when it comes to the Vaughn case is I think that he deserved a proper investigation into what happened that day. You know, that's what, that's what my concern is. And, um, but we can talk about that tonight. Uh, this video, though, I really wanted to talk about Wendy. See you later, Joe. Did you think your feet was dirty? Um, I didn't think your feet was dirty. I thought her feet looked fine. Because, like, sometimes there's, like, that little shadow. And, like, even, like, my feet are um, a different color in the middle than they are all the way around. They're, like, a little red tint. And, um... In the middle but anyways you guys have your thoughts we're going to continue to follow this with wendy i really hope she gets some time i feel like wendy really needs some help from the people that love her but i feel like wendy doesn't know who she could trust i mean she was married for all those years and her husband completely messed her over i mean if you can't trust your husband who can you trust you know if you can't trust your husband if you can't trust your husband who can you trust and she literally could not trust him and I've heard that, like, she won't even really talk to her son that much. And it's sad. So I'm praying for her. I hope that she gets help because I feel like she does need it. But you guys let me your thoughts in the comment section below. If anything else comes up, I'll be sure to let you guys know. I'm going to be um, doing at least one more live stream on here. And then I'm going to do a TikTok live tonight where we just kind of answer questions, talk about whatever you guys want to talk about. So like I said, go follow me over my TikTok. It is pinned. I'll also link it in the description box below. Or it's actually in the description box already. I'll see you guys later. Goodbye, everyone. Oh, I just went through my hair.